Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. I had a crisis of character. I realized in the last video, we didn't actually find the root cause of the problem. Why this thing was losing steps, uh, not hitting as hard as she used to. So, because we have two of the things, what we're going to do is replace one part at a time and see what is the part that's actually failing. So you got the donor A part. Well, just about a part. And if the serial numbers are anything to be... Well, they're very close in serials, but 20 away. So either those serial numbers don't mean fuck all. They just print it on. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, yeah, yeah. I don't think those serial numbers mean anything. I think they're printed on. They probably have five or six labels different serial numbers previous I thought it was wrong but it turns out I was mistaken we're gonna use the trigger group here and also the brushes change those out see if that is the problem I got the new trigger group in there almost drawn to distraction by the sharpening of pitchforks it's the brushes you dolt well the brushes are quite small but they have a constant rate or relatively constant rate spring back there and the spring they're not bottomed out so you should have enough force on those oh yeah really not sticking out that far that brush oh yeah 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 look at that that's exactly oh i'm a fucking moron anyway uh, i don't i, I don't want to give you a spoiler here so let's test this out and uh she's gonna run like a hot damn Guaranteed. It's not a guarantee. Uh-oh. It ain't that. Hitting them out of the park on the uh, parts cannon. It ain't that. Home run derby. So it ain't that. Well, so here's what I was thinking after second, uh, after second, third, fourth, guessing myself. Look at the brushes. While the spring still got sprung and sprung. They're bottomed out on the braid, on the copper braid. So these brushes are worn out. You need a new one of these plaques. So I put a new plaque in there, a whole trigger group. That didn't change anything. What's next? Well, the motor itself. But what is to wear out in the motor, really? Fuck all. However, this flux ring, magnetic flux ring, is very susceptible to impacts. What is this machine? An impact gun. So it might be that the uh, flux, the magnetic field here the, of the permanent DC mag permanent magnets is getting weakened. Let's change this flux ring, see what happens. Uh, this is cute. The serial numbers, while being separated by 20 digits, have a completely different brand of motor. Here's the new, uh, here's the newer my newer one, Kwehui, and this guy's a duo fix. So hopefully they're interchangeable. They look about the same. We'll change the flux ring and see. Ow. 11.55. We're getting... We're getting somewhere because that is a little bit faster and the bias between forward and reverse are different. I would say that's due to the brushes. Of course, I didn't check that, but... All right, well, let's change out the motor itself. Here's a new armature in your eye. Sounds better. Well... <laughs> Well, slap my punt and call me Sally. I never would have guessed that. The motor armature apparently got weak on it. You can see it got real hot there. That epoxy, what holds the stakes on uh, from the field winding to the, well, the you know, the, the magnetic winding to the commutator bar got hot. So that that's mind-blowing that that would weaken over time. Get higher and higher resistance. I never would have guessed that was the failure mode of this one. And very likely most of them, the armature getting weak. 
crazy. There's nothing for that. You throw this right in the bucket bucket. You can't fix that. Not like you're going to go and buy a new motor. Rewind the thing. Wow, that's really interesting. How not only do they weaken, but the mode that they weaken is really surprising. The rotor gets weak. Well, now you don't know until you know, and now you know. There you go. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in a vice.